always. Now, more than 9 million Californians have received their middle class tax refunds from the state loaded onto those debit cards. But many report that scammers stole the money off those cards. Others threw them out by mistake. Yeah, one Bay Area couple had their own fiasco. Seven on your side's Michael Finney says it began with a routine trip to the ATM. I got it. This is a crazy story. Okay. The, the, this is nuts. <laughs> this couple was one of the first to get a debit card last November. But when they slid the card into an ADM, ATM, it did not come back out. Their money did not come out either. What they went through to get it back is both kind of funny, but definitely infuriating. It just sucked it up. It was gone. Don Brindle was at a loss. He had gone to an ATM to cash in the $700 debit card he and his wife got from the state for inflation relief. But there was one little problem. I put the card in and then nothing happened. Then all of a sudden I heard it swallow the card. You know, it made some kind of noise. The ATM would not give back his card and did not give him his money. And it didn't give me a prompt or anything. It was gone. Thank you for calling Money Network. So Don and his wife called the debit card company to request a new card. There was just one little problem. Please enter the number on your card followed by the pound key. The number on my card. I don't have that. He couldn't reach customer service without the card number, which, of course, he didn't have. By the pound key. Now they're asking for the number on the card. So here I go. You ready? So Don tried to guess the number using digits he found on the debit card insert. I didn't find your card number. Okay. We'll try another one. We're sorry. We still did not get the requested information. Please call us back when you have valid account information available. Goodbye. Seven on your side told their story to the Franchise Tax Board, the agency distributing this money. A staffer told Don he could reach a live agent by calling a different number and pressing option one, then option nine, it worked. A nice lady came on and she told me I'll have a new card uh, by December 6th. Which was great, but there was just one little problem. <laughs> well, today's what, January what? The card never came. Don tried to call Money Network. Thank you for your call. It is important to us. However, due to high call volume, we are not able to assist you at this time. Please try your call again later. Still no debit card. But the couple did get this, a 1099 tax form. They have to report the $700 as income. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I said, what am I getting this for? I don't even have the $700. Ah, amazing. I told you, crazy story. Ah, but now things have changed. We helped Don get through to a live agent again. Turns out his card had been sitting for two months waiting to be mailed. The couple just got it by overnight delivery. They sent us this picture. <laughs> They're still happy. As for taxes in the coming days, stay tuned. I'll be reporting on whether this income is taxable or not for you, especially if you never got the money. Lots of folks are in that situation. We're hearing from them day after day. It doesn't seem fair if you didn't even get the money. Right. Right. you got to pay taxes on it. <laughs> oh, goodness. What yeah. a story. Man. Thank you, Michael. Sure.